Hey guys, it's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here today with another Ami Gurumi update for you guys. I'm just going to voice this one over. Some of these items you may have seen before, either on my Instagram or in previous updates, like this little popsicle here. I just didn't put a face on it. It was one that I made experimentally with a smaller crochet hook just to kind of give it a go. Um, I love putting little <laughs> cell phone charms on those like that, especially the little made with love thing that I have stockpiled. And I also have a little ice cream cone. Some of these things are standalone and some are a bunch of kind of the same thing with variations. But all of these items will be on my Etsy store too, besides I think one of them that I show at the very end. And this one because it is unfinished. It's a little custard kind of pie that I tried to make. I want to put some toppings on it, but I don't know what to put on there. And then next, I believe, is Hello Kitty. This is not my own pattern. This is something I got out of a book. It's a Sanrio book that I have that has all these different characters in it. I think I've made a Tuxedo Sam too somewhere, but he's hiding. I do love this one though. She has little overalls on, and I did try embroidering her face, which I don't typically do. And then next, I have a wholesale order that I have been working on for my friend Daniel. I met him at um, Palm Springs Comic Con, I believe, and he has this really adorable kitty character called Kitty Jenkins, and he is a three-eyed cat, and um, Daniel does all these amazing comic books with them, and they're just so adorable. The art is beautifully done. I've done a couple commissions for him too in the past, and now he wants some little Kitty Jenkins to sell at his booth. So I have been making these. They're all different colors and they all have three eyes. This is just a sample of some of them that I have and they are just they were just so fun to make. I really love them so very much. Next, I have a series of cuttlefish. It would not be an amigurumi update without some cuttlefish for me, right? So they are all different sorts of colors and color combinations. I love this yarn that has the little pastel flex in it, so it's not just solid white. And all of these will be on my Etsy store. I think aside from a few things in this update, I am listing pretty much everything on my Etsy. So I will put the link down below. I believe the title of this is also going to say shop update so you guys know. but. Yeah, you'll be able to purchase these things and I haven't updated my store completely in a while which will be really nice. I'm also throwing this video in between the middle of all my VidCon vlogs just so you guys don't get hit with three or four VidCon vlogs in a row. I'm trying to stick to my new uploading schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday I believe so that way that will be three videos a week and I will stick to some consistency hopefully. <laughs> So after the cuttlefish, I do have some little cactus. I love these guys very much. They are so cute. I love just working with these tiny ceramic pots. They're so much fun. So here's this little guy that's not really a barrel cactus, but kind of the teardrop shaped ones. And they do come out of the pots, which I thought was nice, just in case something happens to the cactus and you need to clean it gently. That way it's not hot glued into the pot and you can't get it out. This one is my favorite out of all of them. I love making those little tall cactus like this, especially with the little nub he has on the top of his head. He's so cute. I need to make one of these for my own desk. And then also I have another one of the same kind of teardrop shape. And those always sell out at cons, like super fast. I always back order those ones pretty much. And then next I have a piece that I submitted to my art fest at my school. This is a big cactus in a bigger pot and he's got a little sun hat. I've named him Constantine and he is one of my favorites. I will be listing him on my Etsy store as well. So this is not just an Ami Gurumi update. I have some just regular crocheted items. I have some headbands here. I have made one for all the Hogwarts houses because why not? You can't resist that. So we have Slytherin. Hufflepuff, and did I show Ravenclaw or Gryffindor next? I can't even remember. We'll see. Ravenclaw! There we go. Ravenclaw and then Gryffindor last because I am a proud Slytherin, so I don't know what that had to do with the order. Well, obviously I showed Slytherin first, but yeah, I have these little headbands. They are one size fits all and they are pretty fun. I love those. I have one for myself and for a friend. I also made some messy bun beanies when that trend was going. Um, they all have hair elastics in the top of them. I've only made two so far. So I have the Slytherin one right here, and then I made a Gryffindor one as well. So I will be listing both of those, and I love how I had to pick my camera up because they were too big to fit in the screen. 
but those are fun to make I actually really like those very much I know the weather is kind of it's 109 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now which is a little absurd so that's definitely not the weather for those but I'll list them anyways and then finally, you've seen him in a couple of videos, well not finally, I have something else to show off to this, is my giant Jeremy here. He is from a musical called Be More Chill, and you can see the bald spot in the back of his head, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Amigurumi hair is always difficult to do, maybe I'll make a video on that later on. Um, he's got massive bed head right now, but anyways, he's from a musical Be More Chill, which is awesome, I am obsessed with that musical currently, but please do ask Parent Remission before you listen to it, there are some adult themes in there that are not necessarily okay for little kids, so just be sure you, yeah, just don't listen to it on your own unless you are older. <laughs> anyways, this is the last big item I'm showing you guys, it is this little strawberry drawstring bag, I do have a tutorial on this, and I actually carried this one all the way through VidCon. I am opening it up so you can see how big it is on the inside too. I am going to be selling these on my Etsy store as well. I think right now I'm just going to stick to this color variation, but I will link the little tutorial that I did up in the eye bar. It was a collab with Hannah from the Corner of Craft, which hi Hannah! <laughs> so I'm still messing with the strap length, which is why you see it tied up like that a little bit. It also helps it to sit a bit better on your back. But that is it for this Amigurumi update, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. And yeah, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!